Welcome back to Studio Chatter. Some people like to rough it in the big wild outdoors, rough it in a 33 foot trailer. And nobody knows more about that kind of camping than our next guest. Welcome Rodney Miller from Miller's Trailer Sales. Thank you. It's nice hey. to be here. This is going to be here. Fun. It's going to be fun. This will be fun. Be fun. Yeah. Where do we start? Well, we're focusing a bit on Father's Day. Okay. And and so we thought it would be fun to invite you here and talk about some of the new trends and things going on sure. in the great outdoors. Great. So uh, first, I'd like to give a shout out to my dad who got us started in this business yes. uh, back in 1968. So wow. we're celebrating our 50th year wow. this oh, year. Fantastic. Long time. Long well, congratulations. Time. So I was blessed with a wonderful father. He taught me a lot about life and about business. And uh, so we're uh, going to uh, give him a shout out for that and hope Perfect. he gets to see this, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. So, uh, yeah uh, camping uh, is just growing by leaps and bounds. And of course, here in Utah, we have just some yeah. awesome places yeah. with all of us. Uh, state parks and the national parks that we have here as well as like the Uinas and Fish Lake and oh, uh, yes. just it's awesome. Do you remember your first trailer? Yeah, I kind of do. Mm-hmm. That was a long time ago. Mm-hmm. Are you thinking your first trailer yeah. or your mom and dad's well, first trailer? Well, actually, dad uh-huh. didn't really enjoy camping. No way. Really? But so. mom loved it. So oh, she okay. she always had a motorhome or something to take us camping in. It took us all the time. And, you know, dad would come up maybe at night or for the weekends or stuff. But wow. Really? Your, your mom actually drove it. Yeah. Oh, that, that's wow. surprising because I knew your mom. I would have thought it totally would have been Yeah, sick. Dad, uh, to start the business, uh, he was looking for one of those slide-in campers, if you remember those back yes, in the day, yes. and he couldn't find one. Okay. This is back in the late 60s, and he was working for the old Gridley Chevrolet, if anyone remembers that. Okay. And uh, so he thought, well, if I'm looking for one and can't find one, and he kept running into people that were looking for him too, so he decided, hey, let's wow. start a little business, which mm-hmm. he did, and my grandparents would be there during the day while he was selling cars. Wow. And it took off. It was the perfect timing. It was the perfect place. Mm-hmm. Wow. And within a year, he went and bought trailers, and away we went. Wow. wow. So I love camping. But when I say camping, being in a trailer. So we've had a fifth wheel and a trailer. What is a better seller? What do you think more people You know, it it depends on the time of year. So in the fall, for the people, the snowbirds, we call them, that are heading down south to stay in them, they like fifth wheels because they're a little easier to tow long distance as well as to live in for extended periods of time. Mm -hmm. Trailers go really good uh, throughout the summer months and toy haulers, Right. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about those for a Uh moment, which where you can put your four wheelers or your side by sides inside Uh and haul it are really popular in the spring because of Easter, Moab, places like that. And in the fall for the hunting season. Mm -hmm. That's so weird to me because like when I think of buying a trailer, I think through the whole entire year. So if you're just because you're buying it in the spring, summer or fall, you would think it wouldn't be different. Does that make sense? Yeah, it, but it, we it really we try and track that stuff. Fortunately, computers mm-hmm. help yeah. us with that mm-hmm. now so that we can have more so stock of certain things at the time of year that we think people are going to buy them. Okay, mm-hmm. so toy haulers. Do you know what a toy hauler is? Yes, I do. Yes. You do? I do. Oh. I've seen some on the street, actually, you know, on the road. Yeah. Yeah. So, so they, it, yeah. tell our guests, what is a toy hauler? So a toy hauler is a trailer that has been, well, actually, they have them in fifth wheels that are getting really popular, and those mm-hmm. are the big, mm-hmm. huge mm-hmm. ones, mm-hmm. that the back door lets down, you fold the furniture up against the wall so you can drive your four-wheelers, your motorcycles, the side-by-sides, whatever you might have for that, up inside. Mm -hmm. So you give up a little bit of comfort Mm -hmm. to get the convenience of not having to tow another vehicle uh, behind it. But how many people will it sleep as well? That's a good thing about toy haulers because you'll usually have a front bed that are two two adults, Mm -hmm. then you'll have a table or a couch that makes a bed, and Mm -hmm. then they have these bunk beds that are queen size that come down so you can sleep four people back there. The only thing that makes me nervous about those are kind of the weight when you're carrying so many extra things inside. They definitely are heavier. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. With, the, with the other drivers, not so much because the experienced toy hauler drivers know it's how heavy they are. Yeah. But I love to see people that actually have the toy haulers and when they get to camp and spread them out, you know, it's so fun to see all the families because you can put the, the play pens in there, the yep. pack and plays and the babies are in yep. the back and all the toys are unloaded and basically you get home. And, and just, your animals. Like my sister really? just yeah. a toy hauler and she was, told me everything they fit in there and then like three dogs. <laughs> like, oh my gosh. What about the smell of gas? You know, that's, that a com- a that's a very common question. Mm. The only time it's really an issue is if your machine leaks oil or gas okay. or you're trying to run it inside. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. And then the other big thing that we tell people, don't store your toy inside it. Mm. Transport it, but don't leave okay. it in there month after month. And then, I mean, mine that I have has no smell to it. Okay. 
So I'm going to share with you guys when we were newlyweds and just dirt poor, couldn't even afford to go on a date. We (laughs) would go to trailer shops or trailer places and look through trailers because we loved it so much. Mm -hmm. We just dreamed of the day. I know. I'm just like, (laughs) we were just like, oh, this would be so cool. If we want four kids, this is the trailer we want, or this is the fifth wheel. So if my married kids always ever say, what should we go do? I'm like, Go down to there. Yeah. Come and do that. Yeah. So what's the pr- price range? Uh, let's talk new because yeah. that's easier when to go by. So trailers that we carry will start new in the fifteen, sixteen thousand mm-hmm. dollar range, and they'll go up. The ones that I have as high as. Oh, almost forty thousand mm-hmm. uh, dollars. Fifth wheels will start at about thirty thousand mm-hmm. dollars, and they will go up to in our price range about fifty thousand dollars. And of course, there's a lot more expensive ones than that, but that's mm-hmm. what we carry. Okay, mm-hmm. that's fantastic. Yeah. But really, I guess you're catering to all groups, though, because I mentioned families. So you have the, the the starter families that really do like to take the toys and the kids, and you know, blow out the back of the trailer, and it's easy cleanup. Or the the families that have tradition and they go on the hunting trips and and do so many fun things that way and it's the memories that you're building then you have kind of the older generation that that can afford the luxury additions and want to go hook up to cable and see all of the you know hook-ins and and all of the fun things across the nation so that's really cool well it definitely is a lifestyle Mm -hmm. right i mean it has to be it's like if you have horses if that's not your lifestyle Mm -hmm. it's, it's tough but if it's your lifestyle we're in the perfect place here in utah so where's some fun places that you've visited? Well, some of my favorite places, yeah. Moab in the spring okay. is a great place Definitely. to go. I don't go there in the fall because I like to go hunting, but mm-hmm. a lot of people uh, traveling through, we see going down to Moab. Mm-hmm. Uh, during the summer when it's hot down here in the valley, right. Fish Lake or the uh-huh. UN is, and mm-hmm. it's definitely cool. I mean, the highs are going to be in the mid-70s oh, if you're lucky, oh, so that's nice. a good place to go. Mm-hmm. We've got the uh, sand dunes that we just, you yeah. know, for mm-hmm. Memorial Weekend and Easter Weekend is mm-hmm. huge out there uh, that people go to. All the national Park Zions is a big uh, stop. I personally like Bryce. Oh, that's, uh, nice. that's, yeah. that's just a beautiful place too. Right. So do you find most people will make a reservation in a camp spot or just go out in the wilderness and camp? There's a couple of different types of people. Uh, boondockers, which is what I like to do, and that mm-hmm. means I'm not in a campground. Okay, I that's find what a we spot. Do. Yeah. yeah. And so that's totally different than in a campground. Uh, but for the campgrounds, they're starting weekends. You got to plan ahead because mm-hmm. they're going to be full. Right. Mm-hmm. And that's usually what, 50 a night, 100? I've never done You know, uh, the state parks that don't have hookups can be anywhere as low as $15 a night. Oh, in fact, okay. we've got a wow. great little campground right up the canyon here, the river. It's a county oh, yeah. campground. Up, up on Highway 6. Yeah, that right. little uh, county one up there, I think it's only like $15 a night. It's okay. right on that little river that goes through. Mm-hmm. That's a nice place. Okay. So I have another question. Now with the Internet, do people come in having already done all their research? They know the exact <laughs> floor plan? Because my husband... There are a lot will... more educated buyers yes. that come in today. You bet. Okay. Mm-hmm. And do the men or the women choose? The floor plan. How does that we actually, when we're selling, we're selling features and benefits to the man, the constructions type of that, mm-hmm. and we're selling the comforts and conveniences to the woman. That yeah, there's sense. a side. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. 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 Oh, oh well, trained in that yeah. company. Yeah. Yeah. Been doing it a long time. Yeah. <laughs> that well, is for, awesome. That's for the wonderful. folks that haven't visited your place before, tell us where you're located. Well, we're up uh, right behind the McDonald's, 950 East, oh, 800 okay. North. Um, mm-hmm. Been there a long time. Mm-hmm. And uh, we used to be the only thing up there, but now it's kind of filled yeah, in around us. But. Right there on Highway 6, yeah. like location, location, there you go. location. That knew something that's back then, didn't he? Yeah, that's such a great spot. Yeah. So, and you do repairs? Do repairs. We have the largest parts department in Utah okay. County. So if you want to fix it yourself, we can get you the parts. Mm -hmm. Okay. We may need to bring ours in if my hubby hubby can't fix the problem we're dealing with right now. So... I hope you get a chance to get out and enjoy it as well. It's a little hard for me to because you know it's hard to go for just one day, and Mm -hmm. but uh, yeah, it's a great lifestyle. And as far as the Father's Day thing, you know, we got some great gift ideas Mm -hmm. in our RC department. If someone's looking for gift ideas and and you're in the RV business, come up and see us. Mm -hmm. We give you some ideas on uh, some good gifts. All right. Well, thanks so much for being here. Yeah. All right. Well, coming up next, more talk about fathers. Don't go anywhere. 